so you can't be heard over the microphone, nothing will happen to you. This is Shirley Mellon. I'm in the colonnade. Help me. Help. Help. Jameson, you stay here with Berna and Mrs. Geronda. I'm going to Shirley. For Craig, you stay here with the lady. You did exactly as I expected. You've led Kennedy into my trap. I'm going over there. Craig might need some help. Shirley? <laughs> Would you recognize any of your captors? No. Oh, Shirley. I'm so glad. Are you all right? Yeah. Oh, just a minute, Margaret. I'll deliver the linen to Hammock. You just help Miss Durand uh, take Miss McMillan to the house. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'll bet that hammock and his partner are back of this whole thing. We'll see. Put some time. Just a minute. Let him stay there. He's tied up just the way I want to see him. Hammock's the man I want to talk to. Gentlemen, I am honored. Thank you. How long have you been in this room? Here? I should say about two hours. Two hours. I should like to ask you, within that time, 
You have heard anything? By that I mean, have you heard any noise? Or any disturbance at all? No, I... I have heard nothing. You see, I have been deep in study. I see. Well, sorry. Oh, Mr. Kennedy. This is yours, I presume? Oh, yes. Thank you. Well, are you still suspicious? I certainly am. How about you? Not now. Otherwise, Hammock would have kept the document. Oh, yeah? That's just a gag of his. I wouldn't trust that bird around the corner. Report number six. Werner Durando has delivered the papers to Craig Kennedy. I want those papers. They may be the missing part of the gold formula. There is to be a meeting of the directors of the research corporation at the Gironda home. This meeting is of vital interest to me. You know what I expect. Just a minute. Now, just a minute, Walter. Here. What is this all about? I found him going through your paper. Oh! oh, oh. Take care of him, will you? Oh. Oh. What happened, Jenkins? Oh. That man there struck me down and tied me up just before you came in. I want to know what you were looking through my papers for. The formula. Formula? What formula? That one. You're trying to decipher. It's my property. The formula for making a new chemical warfare gas. It is my invention. My own personal property. Then why did you give Dr. Geronda a copy? He is my superior and I gave it to him merely as a matter of record. Gordon, looks like a case for you. You'd better take him into custody. There she is. Go easy now, Joe. Don't worry about me. Nikki, Nikki, I must talk with you. with this terrible thing hanging over my head. Oh, Nicky, something's got to be done. Am I intruding? Uh, why, no. No. Uh, and Nicky, uh, I'd like to talk to this man alone. Very well. Okay, Strick. What do you mean by coming here? You know what I want. Oh, but what you ask is impossible. You want me to shoot my mouth off, huh? Oh, oh you wouldn't do that. No, but now listen. How are you, Wiccan? Why, 
Nobody here yet? Not yet. Sir. We'll wait in here. I hope this meeting doesn't last all day. I have other business to attend to. What have you there, Bouchard? More knives? Yes, sir. Still following your old hobby, eh? Ah. Are those not beautiful? <laughs> there are no other like this in the whole world. Gentlemen, we didn't come here to talk about knives. Let's get down to business. We cannot proceed without Mr. White. Why couldn't we have held this meeting at our office? You must understand that Mr. White is Mrs. Geronda's personal attorney. And though the papers which he holds may contain valuable information concerning the gold formula, nevertheless, both he and Mrs. Geronda must be present when the contents are examined. I broke several appointments to come here. I'll see if I can find Mrs. Geronda. While he's gone, I'll put in a telephone call. I think I will, too. I'm getting tired of your excuses. I want results. Mrs. Geronda, Mr. Cromwell phoned. He said the directors have just arrived. Oh, uh, thank you, Nicky. Directors, huh? Yes, uh, and you'd better go now. I told you before, I want results. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, j just give me some time, will you? Mrs. Geronda is expecting me. Yes, sir. Mrs. Geronda and the gentleman will be here presently. Will you wait, sir?
Why, Craig. Craig, what's the matter? What's the matter? What happened to you? Clutching hand. Did you call, sir? Yes, Wickham. I want you to give me a hand with Mr. White. How are you now, Mr. White? All right, I think. Uh, what's going on here? What happened? My briefcase. Where is it? It was stolen. Stolen. Mrs. Rondo's papers were in it. I told you we should have held this meeting at the office. This may mean that the missing gold formula is among those stolen papers. We're standing here talking won't get us anywhere. Now, if you gentlemen will just remain calm, we'll solve the whole matter. resemblance? There's a certain similarity in the construction of the letter E and the word steel. However, I wouldn't say definitely. Mr. Kennedy is expecting you. He's in the laboratory. Okay. Hello, Mr. Kennedy. <clears throat> Hello, Marty. Hello, Marty. Here you are. What did Mr. Gaunt say? He didn't say nothing. See, I think that guy's goofy. He gives me this envelope with just a blank piece of paper in it. How do you know it's a blank piece of paper? Well, I saw him put it in the envelope. Oh. Better put him on your staff, Craig. He's practically hired. <laughs> Anything else? That'll be all, Marty. Thanks very much. Okay. Oh, say, Mr. Kennedy. Yes? A guy downstairs slipped me a dollar to hand this to you. I'll take it. All right. Shall I see what's in it, Craig? Go right ahead, Jameson. Walter, look out! <laughs> 